Plaid Cymru's Leanne Wood. Leanne Wood, um, this all takes place in the aftermath of Manchester, of course, and Wales has not been immune from either jihadis or from victims of, of, of jihadi attacks. So can I ask you what Plaid Cymru's message to people who are thinking about how to vote and wondering about the security issue in particular, what is Plaid Cymru's message to them to this morning? Well, it makes no sense to us in Plaid Cymru for those public services that uh, rose to the challenge and uh, supported so many people in Manchester, the health service, the emergency services, uh, the police, obviously, uh, for those to be cut. And Manchester's police service has been cut and there are plans uh, for more cuts. And it's absolutely awful what happened. It's difficult to see how you can absolutely prevent it in the future. But you can give people uh, some more confidence by making sure there are plans in place and that emergency services are properly resourced to deal with things. We, we wouldn't need troops on the streets, perhaps, if there were enough uh, police officers on the streets. Well, that's a, a very good answer about the aftermath of the attack. But what about actually catching people first? Plaid Cymru MPs have voted again and again against surveillance suggestions in the House of Commons against legislation on tighter surveillance. Aren't you basically on the wrong side of this argument? We're against mass surveillance. We're in favour of uh, more targeted surveillance. It makes sense that if people are uh, under suspicion that the police need to keep a close eye on them. And so we support resources for that. The idea of watching everyone and being able to access everyone's email and communications, that's where we have a, a problem and that's where our MPs have voted but this is uh, consistently then against the Snoopers Charter, for example. And this is absolutely the heart of the argument because nobody really thinks, do they, the police are going to look at all of our emails, survey everybody. They've got 23,000 suspected jihadis in this country and they can't deal with them. So this fantasy that there's going to be mass surveillance of everybody, everybody is under threat, everybody's going to be watched by the, the big state if we allow these laws, it is, it's ridiculous. But they, if you look, if you're looking to keep people under surveillance, that's a very resource intensive activity. Exactly. And the police need to be adequately resourced to do that. It's better that they watch those people who are at most risk and keep a close eye on those rather than the entire population. There is such a but, thing as information overload yes, and but, it's better to concentrate resources. But they, they were never asking for um, being able to look at the entire population. They, they know who they need to look at and, and they need the resources for that. Can I ask you very straightforwardly, after Manchester, a lot of people are thinking we need to think again about this whole issue of security. Are you in Plaid Cymru thinking again about it? Well, you have to review security all the time. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's terrible that this has happened, but it's not, it's the most serious uh, incident that's happened since 2005. So something is clearly working in some ways, but then on the other hand, the person responsible for this uh, was brought to the attention of authorities. Something, there are serious questions that need to be answered as to why action wasn't taken uh, earlier to prevent this. So we need to learn lessons from this. That's a, a cliche to say maybe, but you have to review at all times. The army and some of the armed police are coming off the streets and the beaches and so forth quite soon. You've got a huge event in Cardiff, the Champions League coming up next weekend. Do you want to see more armed police back for that? Are you concerned about that event in particular? I want to see it uh, adequately uh, resourced security wise obviously it's going to be a big event many people are going to come to Wales I don't think people should be put off from coming it's going to be an amazing uh, event and I'm sure by making sure that the security side is properly resourced that people will have that confidence and assurance. Leanne.